Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm Abla Unique. Abla is the name given to Tuesday born kids in my tribe, which is the Ewe tribe. And Unique is just a personal pick that that defines just who I am inside out. The name holds everything you need to know about me because I am truly unique. I am a, a recent graduate from the University of Ghana. I did French and Spanish, so now I speak five languages and all. Um, no, let me brag a little. <laughs> uh, Growing up was was fun, was nice, I guess. Um, I mean, it, it did with a lot of. It had to do with uh, a lot of bullying and rejection. You know, kids are mean. Even some old people are mean too. But I think that's that was just the spice to, you know, the boring life of childhood. You know, um, while some kids were playing uh, police and thief i was playing bully and the bully <laughs> i know that's not funny but you know kids i mean some of those people they probably won't recognize me now yeah and some other people too i mean but i mean eh, that's just i think that's just life that's just life um uh what else i grew up around very strong women you know i had aunties all over the house i had cousins you know girl cousins you know um it was fun it was fun when it was family surrounding me you know and uh, a different childhood because i'm not just saying that on the account of the bullying I'm, I'm saying that on the account of everything else you know being um an albino you have to come to terms, or I have to come to terms with um, the disadvantages, the dangers um, of being an albino, and it kind of grows you up quickly, you know. So I was one of those kids with the old soul naturally, and I think that was just a compliment for how well I handled situations related to my conditions, and if I had to like understand something my old soul which i naturally had just you know only helped me get it faster and better yeah so that's like a little brief on my stuff oh, modeling modeling um has always been something i wanted to do you know um, I know some people um, stuck to their childhood dreams of being nurses doctors firemen anything you know for me it was more than a dream I knew that my place was in the entertainment and art industry right from my childhood I knew that I loved fashion I wanted to model some clothes make some dope music videos, be that amazing artist, you know, pop star lifestyle. I knew, it wasn't a dream, it wasn't a, oh, what do you wanna be? And then I'm thinking, yeah, I went through the phase of saying, oh, doctor, uh, nurse, lawyer, cause you know, my parents, you know, wanted me to say that kind of thing. They weren't really happy with um, the whole life of the industry um, thing. And they still aren't as accepting of it still date but that is that is where I feel the most um, myself and that's the industry in which I feel the most um, connected and related I know later in life you know me expanding to anything else but like that the fashion and art and entertainment world will always sort of be um, foundation yeah um so i did not need motivation to go into modeling when it came i was just sort of ready for it and then oh did it take me places i mean i've not gone far but like i'm really grateful for like how far how far you know like it's um it's brought me or how far it's taking me and 
no i did not have to fight stigma in this industry maybe some people stigmatized but not that i noticed not that i knew yeah and it's it's been beautiful growing up it was more think about a disadvantage think about the things you can't do you know because you have this condition you know and now it's more of think about what you can do because of this condition and when i made that flip it's been beautiful since it's been beautiful since um yes before i got there i struggled a lot you know with you know self acceptance i'm not gonna front and say i've always been this confident no but it wasn't in relation to my career it was more personal life you know um issues it was more um on a really really personal internal you know uh level yes so but i've enjoyed the ride man it's been beautiful since i was able to flip it and it's not it's never far if i ever needed to like tap back into that and like get recharged or anything you know yeah and well the people that i'm surrounded with you know the fans the family the friends the strangers even you know i mean i i get the stranger look but i don't i don't let it get to me anymore because like i sort of understand it yeah so yeah i've been gang i've been chilling i've been being okay i'm um, talking about being dejected or um censored in any way in any of the work i do as i said it's not something i notice even if they did it's not something i noticed you know um everywhere i've worked um i've had the chance the blessing to have worked with really open-minded people and people who came for me actually because of how i rock what i have my condition is not something i've ever shone away from i wear it proudly i flaunt it hell i show it off <laughs> you know and i got calls because of that i know some really cool and amazing people right now because of that i didn't have to fight it and I didn't have to come back from fighting it because coming back would mean it won you know the stigma won it destroyed me in some way put me down in some way and I had to bounce back from that career wise or working wise but nah nah I, I never had to do that or I'm not yet I don't not that I want it to happen or I see it coming you no know, but I've not had to fight it and I've not had to come back from it. I've just had to rock it and enjoy it. And it's been a beautiful. Um talking achievements. <laughs> this probably won't be one. I mean, I don't know on someone else's this definition, but I got to work with Hamama. Africa. I got to work with Miss Hamamat herself and it was quite an experience. Phenomenal woman. Um, I love her. I love her and I love her for everything she taught me. Most of the things she didn't even know she was teaching me but working for her was um, I think is quite an achievement for me. For me it is. For me it is. And uh, I'm grateful that I worked for her, you know, and my boss before her, Miss Bridget, working for these two women, phenomenal women, you know, they teaching me so much. Um, yeah, yeah. Achievement. Um, wow, I was on a Woodine campaign, and oh, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was amazing. I'm thankful to the storytellers group working with them with them was beautiful yeah yeah um it was so loving you know yes um 
there's that I've been over the phone I can though I did not win the show I think that was a good experience and I think it'll go into my books as an achievement because that's the first time any person with albinism has been on that show I'm the first I'm like I'm like the first at a lot of things entertainment wise in this country and I think like this part of the world I mean Nigeria is doing really well but like in Ghana I feel like I'm the first to like go on like major shows rhythms on the highway Vodafone icon um, campaign shoots uh, fashion weeks you know I've done Accra mall um, this is other one I did oh I'm forgetting the name but you know I've worked with amazing photographers twins down big personal friends of mine amazing guys um, I mean they, they're really creative you know duo twins um, I've, I've okay from the top of my head these are the ones I can say cuz like you know um, I've, I've had some like fun being the first to go on a lot of shows you know um, say career wise career wise and wow okay I'm on the spot I can't really remember um, them right. you know one thing after the other you know it's not like back to back but you know it's always like a, a link you know a link and I'm just I'm grateful for the simple photo shoots and the major campaigns you know equally because for me they are all achievements for me they are all achievements yes I've wanted to do this all my life but you know you get cold feet when um, sometimes the, the thing is in front of you right in front of you and well you can still run away I could have still run away but I didn't I, I, I didn't and I'm grateful for my for Okay, going forward, you should expect this little tiny Miss Melanin Less lady to be on some musical charts soon, God willing, because um, I'm diving into my music soon. Um, well, I've not really done it for a while or like put so much energy towards it for a while but you should look out for that because I am I'm you know getting ready to get back into it and this time staying in for good you know embrace the you know what I knew I had to do the the music the art the fashion yeah yeah of it all you should look out for that yeah, you should look out for um, me talking more educating people generally more about um, albinism our condition how it varies with you know with all these variations you know because I believe that with education you know a lot of problems of stigma can be fought can, can be fixed yeah so you should look out for it some more videos I have some on my IG but you know I will keep talking about it because I feel I have the platform and that is one good thing that I can do with with it so yeah look out for that and thank you thank you so much for having me um, it's, it's been beautiful